Hi guys, we've come back and we're going to do the bracelets and the first one we're going to do is this one. Silver tone fasted beads. This is leather. It's very soft. We're going to give you a measurement. We are? Yes, we are. Okay, if you insist. I insist because it doesn't stretch. It's a seven and a half. So it fits a medium wrist. It looks somewhat like that on the wrist. Very pretty. We'll do that one for three. We have these little things here. I believe they go around candles. There's three of them. A matted and then two polished gold tone ones. We'll do those for three. We have this memory wire cuff type naturals and uh, beads here's the black light right here. thank you mm, can't tell get a really dark red or at least that's what it looked like anyway oh here's these let me try this give me that thing again come on little spaz nope yeah these are naturals with some beads we'll do that for three we have this one with wood, shell chips, I believe. No, that looks like, uh, that could be coral there. And that looks like it's coral. Maybe dyed coral, seashell would fit with the theme. And on this one, you have like a feather We'll do this one for two. Very cool. We have an Alex and Ani. Bracelet doesn't have all three of the charms. But it does have the Alex and Ani. It's usually a triangular one. It's got a brass colored look. We'll do it for $2. We have this large chain bracelet, and I mean it's large. It's a pretty color chain, but it's for a larger wrist or either an anklet, I don't know. We'll do that for two. Feels like it's aluminum. Yeah, it does feel aluminum. It's lightweight. We have a smaller one, kind of like the same thing. It's large also. We'll put that in with the other one. That's $2. Both of those you'll get for two dollars. This is beautiful. It's black, fasted, and marquee round cut, marquee, fasted beads. I think they're acrylic, but they're still beautiful. Set in silver tone, beautiful black beads here that are cold. I'm not sure because they have a nice weight to them, but the weight could be from this. They're cool to the touch, but I wouldn't say they're ice cold. Beautiful bracelet. I would say this would fit a medium wrist well. I'm going to put it on. Here it is on my wrist. That's a medium. We'll do that one for five. There you go, honey. Oh, this is so cool. This has got actual plants. And then you have that with the uh, abalone shell chips in it. More plant. Abalone chips. This is a very cool bracelet. We'll do this one for eight. 
it will fit a medium wrist. It is a stretchy. We have a gold tone cuff with some wiring. It's a medium. I sit on my wrist. And we'll do it for two dollars. We have this very cool bronzy rhinestone studded snake bracelet. I have to put it on. I have to. And this is it on me. Oh, I like it. Isn't that cute? We'll do that one for eight. That's a steal of a deal. Very cute. The there. I know, that's a miracle all in itself. Here's our next bracelet. Pearl and little clear cubed pieces and silver spacers. Stretchy, we'll do that one for three. We'll do this girl's rock and this little Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse bracelet. We'll do those for a dollar. Here's some hearts, different metals, cha-cha like. Now I've got some room on this, so a larger wrist may be able to wear this too. But here are your hearts and the different metals. You have wear on there. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. We'll do this for two. These three here, I'm just going to put in the Hobby Lot. Here's another one that we're going to add to the kids lot. No, we're just going to put that in the Hobby Lot. We have a rose, silver tone rose bracelet. Lobster claw class with an extender so it can go from small to large. Let me give you a measure. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Sorry. That's okay. It can go anywhere from a seven to a nine, depending on where you want to put it. We'll do that one for three. It's in very good condition. Very pretty. Roses. I didn't see any marks on it. Didn't look real hard. Here's an animal print, stretchy, and it's actual. Um, I don't know cowhide or some kind of animal print hide. It's furry, in other words. We'll do this one for two dollars. We have this beautiful rainbow colored bracelet that is adjustable. We'll do that for a dollar. And we'll put this in with it. Okay, we have this little pink crystal bracelet and it's very cold so it's definitely fasted crystal. 
this one also and it's got an AB AB coating on these it's a little heart and I'm not sure what this is you see the so I'm not what if that's bone or what we'll do both of those for four dollars We've got a pink and hematite and pink cat's eye bracelet. And it is do to do do. It's eight inches. We'll do that one for three. We have the vanilla and cognac honey and cognac and beads bracelets we'll do those for two both of them get both of them for two we have a cha-cha wooden bracelet here with some green stone not sure what that is turquoise in color it is a stone Cha cha, we'll do that one for three. And it's uh, larger. See all the room I have? I mean, I can still wear it, but at a larger risk of wear it also. This is one of those magnetic bracelets in gold and silver. There's the magnets in there. And this one's quite large. It is marked. Let's see what that says. D plus magnet. And y'all, I know y'all were standing on your head to read that. I apologize. Eight and a half inches. We'll do that for five. It's very nice. Looks like stainless steel to me. It is. So that's a bargain. That's a bargain. Stainless steel will never tarnish. I'm going to do a lot of bracelets here. A lot. First, we have the large pearl bracelet, stretchy. This is also a stretchy mixed metal look. We have this one. I want you to see the bead here. Looks like a close and a bead and a toggle clasp. Now what is that? is that? Oh, that needs cleaning. Yeah, that came right off. Anyway, it, it'll be cleaned. But you have this one with that pretty bead. Let's put the flowers on it. And then this is an LC bracelet with hearts. Toggle clasp. Trying to see if there's any marks and hearts. And there's the other part. Is that a mark on that? No, that's worn though. You can see that's got a lot of wear on it. But we're going to do this lot for three dollars. I have some bangles. They're different sizes. This one's large. And the other two are mediums. The other three are mediums. We'll do those for a dollar. We have a wrap leather bracelet here with these gold tone grommets. 
and the underside is very, um, I guess, suede-like. Very pretty. All the grommets are there, and they're in good shape. They haven't lost their color. It wraps around my wrist three times. I'm a medium wrist, so it wraps three times. And does some kind of like that. We'll do this one for four dollars. We have a wooden bracelet here with a coin that I don't know. It's kind of, and we're gonna put it in the hobby lot with the coin. This is one of those. Italian charm bracelets, I guess. Some people say there are gold on these. I don't know how to test. I mean, I don't know, but I'm not going to test. This one was a graduation one with the apple and the 2003 and heart and star, and I'm not sure what that is. And it looks like baseball. It's a large bracelet like that. We'll do this one for three. We have these two leather bracelets here. This one's got a green closure. It's also American Eagle Outfitters. This one is a Shambhala type that you pull together and close. We'll do those for $2. We have a little blue um, fasted beaded prong set. They're opaque blue pieces. We'll do that one for a dollar. Set in silver tone. I have two bracelets here and I want to keep them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm sorry y'all, but this is a pearl one. And I hope it is Mark, Marvella. And it's very pretty, knotted. The pearls are in good shape. And uh, the other one, I'm showing these so you know what came in the blue box. This is a Florenza, and I couldn't believe how the little pearls and everything were on it. Gold tone. There's the other side, and it was marked. It's even got its catch chain. Florenza. If I decide to sell them, I'm probably going to put them on eBay. I haven't done too much in my Etsy store, so... It could possibly go there too, but eBay is, I really like using eBay. They're simple and and uh, expensive. <laughs> Sometimes they take 15% of whatever you do, so. Anyway, you've got this cute little bone turtle thing. It doesn't attach to anything. I guess you could glue it on a wooden, round wooden piece and make a pendant out of it. We're gonna put that in the hobby lot. It's already been claimed. We have this cute little fish piece we're gonna put in the hobby lot. I thought it might be an earring, but I don't think we had a match, so it's going in the hobby lot. I have no clue what this is. But it's going in the hobby lot. It almost looks almost looks Harry Potterish, but I don't know. So it's got something down here. What does that say? Do we know? Nope. And this bead in the hobby lot. And I have this little Betsy 
Love Betsy tag. And this little flower piece. Gonna put that in the Hobby Lot. And I'm not finished, guys. I'm just showing you some Hobby Lot stuff. That's going in the Hobby Lot. Those are glass beads. I'm trying to clear the table off so I can do some art. My art is calling me. Now, these are silver, and I'm going to keep these. Hopefully, I'll find a match. And these right here are... Um, I believe they're garnets, and I want to test them. But we have this, and you can use these charms. If you don't like these body things, just take this off and use the charms. And this one, and let me back down some. And, oh, this one's so cute. I almost kept it. The guitar, because I do junk journals, and these are great in junk journals, too. And then this one. And that's a beautiful blue stones in that. I don't know if those are actual stones or not. But they're beautiful. And all these are going in the Hobby Lot. And then I had two chains. These just need a jump ring on the end put in there so you can clasp it. This one's a Disney chain. And this one is... A no namer, but it's silver tone. And we'll put those in the hobby lot. Now there's some discoloration, but that may be from dirt. I've had things look like that, and you clean them, and they're perfectly silver. So that's going to be up to the person that gets the hobby lot to do. So that's what hobby lot is all about. So here, let's see what we have here. Oh, it's all hidden. And he's left me. Oh, good grief. Oh, it's all... There's that man when I need him. Okay, I won't complain too much. And I don't have the ring thingy. Oh, there it is. My view is blocked by the tablet, so... First thing we have is this ring that is a size 9. It looks like CZ stones. And I can't remember if 925 was in this one or not. I don't see anything. But it's a pretty ring. We'll do that for three. The next one is flower chain and a band of seven and a half, a band of uh, CZs. This one looks like it's got something in there. Or does it? That's where I'm looking right there. Can't see. Can't tell. Anyway, here's your ring. There's no discoloration. Even on the back side. Like I said, I don't see any Writings, we'll do $3 on that one. Seven and a half. We have this cute little toe ring rose. I don't see any marks on it. We'll do that for three. And the toe is a size five and a quarter almost. These are three each. Okay. And here's a band, five and a half, gold tone. 
We'll do that one for two. That. Good. This one is a size nine. Gold and silver. And these are, I believe, diamonds on the side. I need to test them. I don't know what this is. That may be just a CZ. It is marked 925. So I need to test this. I'm going to test it before I put it up for sale for the diamonds and the silver. Well, the silver I can kind of look at now. Let's see. As you know, there's a 925 brand out there, and this is it. It says it's silver, and it's not. But those actually do look like diamonds on the side, so I want to test it. Thank you, honey. Where you made those? Uh, these are staying with me. This oh, okay. is all mine. Okay. We have these beautiful gold tone hoops. Let me go back down. They're about um, three quarters of an inch hoop. And we'll do those. They're beautiful. They're not marked up anywhere. Uh, we will do these for $2.00. Very pretty. Ooh, here's another ring. This one is a seven. It's brass. And we were brass looking. I don't know that it's brass. Where's my oh magnet? Yeah, it's buried. Yeah. See, I need you. Mm -hmm. No, it's not magnetic, so it's brass or copper or something. I'm not sure. We'll do that for two. Ginormous. Ginormous earrings here. Ginormous alert. Oh gosh, a song is coming in my head. Okay, these two are a match. Yay! <laughs> and they're free for anybody who wants them. Okay, that's all the ginormous round ones I see. These are not matches. Even this one is not a match. I'm putting all those in the hobby lot. Let's see. This is a match. We have a match. If I can get it unhooked. Very large. Silver tone. Let's see. I believe these are acrylic the dangles. We'll do these for two. This has no match. We're gonna put that in the hobby lot. Where's the match? Oh, here it is. Just wanna see. Oh, no. Oh. This has no match. Very pretty. We're gonna put that in the hobby lot. Oh, this has a match. These are cold, so they're crystal. Silver tone, is that writing I see on that? Let me see. Uh, could be. Where's my magnifier? Right here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. 
I don't see anything. We'll do those for three. There you go, honey. No match. It's going in the Hobby Lot. If I pick up something, I know I don't have a match. It's going in the Hobby Lot. Here's another one. Hobby Lot. Oh, these, here's a match. Pretty little glass flowers. Purple flowers. Very cute. I don't know if those are silver or not. But we're going to do these for $2. Because they're so pretty. These are actually silver, 925. They're marked. And they're cute. Little dangles. They're marked on the wires. Come on. Can you read it? 925. I don't know if the 925 was on here. I thought it was. But you can tell they're silver. Sometimes you just know. Nope, don't see anything. But we're going to do these for $10. That's a bargain. We have that one. We have these. We'll do those for three. I mean two. Sorry, two. Dose. Oh. Well, there it went on the floor. I'll get it in a minute, honey. Just mark your bag. Four, okay. Two. Two. One, zero, blast off. We have these with a little pearl on the end. I don't know if these are marked or not. Don't see anything right away, so I say nope, and we'll do these for $2. see this and this and I'm picking things up I know I don't see a match for oh that is vintage and it's got something written on it Germany uh. Germany we'll put those in the hobby lot I didn't see a match to that or this. Or this. Or, oh, those are, that was so pretty too. Got a beautiful crystal in the center. That didn't have a match. It was a shell flower. Those are going in the hobby lot. And that, and that, and this, and that. Yeah, that's something else. Okay. This, does that match? Nope. This one have a match? Nope. That one? Nope. Ooh. That's that, um, oh, I forgot how you, what you call it. That's the bat. That's vintage. This. These are all great crafting pieces. And that, and that. This is another vintage piece. I love that. Makes me sad. Cute as a button. Ooh, those are all vintage. Okay. Oh, look at that with the little dragonfly. Oh, him. Starfish, no. I'm sharing. 
starfish, hoop, I'll pack up my bags. Drama llama. <laughs> Drama llama. Bar. This one. This one, which we thought was amber, and I don't know. So, but we're putting it in there. And this one. Another hoop. This looks like uh, maybe stone and. Um, tortoiseshell look and one of these and two beads and would you put all that in the hobby lot please that you've got over by you yeah well it's right under the box lid huh. these are pretty worn out and we'll put them in the hobby lot this is I don't know if that's silver or not it's a wine glass thing and I had Oh. But they're not the same. They're not the same. They're going to go in the Hobby Lot. That's going to go in the Hobby Lot. That's cute as button. There you go. This one's going in the Hobby Lot because I sure don't see a match to it. Now these have a match. They're not going in the Hobby Lot. The wires are kind of, um, I wonder if they're silver, because they look tarnished. Yes, they're silver. The wires are silver, so they're tarnished looking, okay? We'll do these for five. Very pretty. This is very Celtic looking, with the green. prong set stone and that trinity knot and we'll do these for five they're very pretty we have these they're shell they're yellow they're happy they're wires we'll do those for two these little black beaded ones. They're wires. And they're an oval with a black bead like that. We'll put those in with the yellow ones we just did for the same price. I mean, they're all the same price. What did I put? Oh, those? Okay. Yeah, yeah, two. Yeah. Two and two. The two pair of earrings for $2. Don't get flustered, honey. These are magnificent. These are um, marcasite, ornate, mandala type. And here's the backs, and it looks like they're marked. I don't know what that says. AT, ATC China, I think that's what it says. Let me see if I see any 925 anywhere, because they do look like they're silver. Turn on the lights, Robin. Oh, yes, they are marked uh, AT. Now that says ATIBR China. But nowhere do I see Sterling or 925. Did you rub them? No. Oh, well, that would tell you pretty quick. Oh, I know. So would it. They are they magnetic? No. No. Okay, I have to rub them. And nope. So they didn't lie. They're not silver. They are silver over copper. That's why they're not magnetic. But they are still very beautiful. We'll do those for five. And then we have these. And they're very tarnished. The wires. 
tarnished or worn, one or the other. And I'm not sure which. I don't see any 925, but they are butterflies with AB abalone shell inlay. Here's the back. They look like alpaca. That nickel silver. We'll do these for five. They're very pretty. And we have a brass colored ring. Let's see if it's, oh, this went with that. Oh, those earrings, I think. Mm -hmm. Sorry. This is a five and three quarters green stone. Oh yeah, definitely stone. Just your size. I know. See, fits. We'll do this one for five. And then we have this one, which is, I can see a marking on the inside. If I don't hurry, we're going to run out of time. It's silver, I think. It's a size 8. It's a dark blue stone and white stones on the side. There you go. Oh. Come on. All right, I'm looping it. And it reads. Does it read? Lord have mercy. I see a size 8. R, R, C, R, J, 8 on one side. And on the other side, I see 925. So the 925 is on this side. There you go. There you go. Oh, come on. Oh, camera, please cooperate. Well, you'll have to take my word for it. The 925 is right here. The 8 and RC is over here. Yeah, you can see it there. Or, or RJ. RJ, sorry. Bluestone. Don't know what it is. You might want to check it before you give a price. Yeah, I'm going to check it before I give the price. I have two to check to give you a price so that's what I yeah. put them together okay guys that's it that's the end of the two blue boxes we brought with us and we have more jewelry jars so we'll be back we are going to celebrate in between all this <laughs> and I uh, <laughs> hope you guys are having a good day I hope the weather's good cooperating for you and that everybody's safe and we will see you guys in our next video. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a blessed day. Bye now. Bye-bye.